Hello everyone, it has been a long time since I have done a tea review and uh, it has many reasons, had to change the car, change the job, um, things were going on, so um, yeah, I didn't really have the time and um, I thought maybe this time I can just um, do one quickly. I have something interesting here rather than special um and uh, let's just warm these up <sighs> let's just warm these up put some warm water in here put some here whoops it's, haven't been drinking tea lately either it's just simply because of life you know car job studying money bills are rising you know the drill um so what I have here is called uh, White Horny from Mayleaf. Um, but why is it interesting? Um, it is because I purchased this two years ago now and um, I never opened the packet. It is a white tea. I'm not really sure um, what shall I expect. I mean, it's two years old now. Um, we can't really call it aged, and I didn't really do anything. It, it's, it's just in this pouch, really. It's not even, not even opened yet at all. Um, I didn't even look it up uh, this time because when I purchased it, I had a batch of it and I ran out of it. So I just thought, you know what? I like that tea, so I just bought a full pouch um, but that was two years ago and I still haven't opened it um, and then I bought some teapots then I reviewed them and etc etc uh, so anyway the tea it is April 2020 uh, food in Dubai um, from China can't pronounce the rest I will show you the label in a minute uh, picking bud and young leaves and elevation 500 meters apparently I should use 95 degrees water for it um, I didn't check the water temperature um, this time but I boiled the kettle like I don't know five minutes ago so it should be okay ish um, and it also says it's it has fluffy blend of buds and leaves um, for richer flavor Gold, soft, thick and syrupy liquor, B will C. And uh, green, chestnut, vanilla, honey and nut milk. But that was two years ago, so... Here's the label. The front. Oh, this, this way. Oh, maybe like that. And the back. Because I couldn't pronounce where it was from. There you go. Now, let's open this up. Uh, 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 uh. So, that's now officially open. Okay. It's always nice to sniff into the pouch when you open it first time because all the smell just condensed there waiting to burst out and it hits your face and you don't know what to make of it. It smells a little bit weird. I'm guessing because of the pouch. But the leaves themselves, I mean the buds are, are more like um, silver needly. So silvery and they have that fluff on them and the, the bigger leaves they are just leaves they are not even rolled they they, they they are just rough let's take some out I guess that will be enough for now. So I cook it up. Right. 
let's close it back up. And also nowadays I started to drink more and more coffee. I mean proper coffee beans. And um, that was the other reason as well why I didn't drink tea because I was drinking coffee a lot. So oh, careful. So that's how the leaves look like. If it would be focusing. Come on, there you go. So they are the leaves. I will put a couple of pictures at the end how they look like. Um right so let's analyze this. <coughs> so as I said the the buds uh, I just broke one. The buds are, are like silver needle uh buds but even even the buds are, are nothing done with, they just being picked, you can, I don't know if you can see, let's zoom in. So, um, and maybe against my jumper, so, I don't know if you can see, but there's the bud, and here's there's a bit of leaf that's coming from the bottom of the bud and it's just not even taken off. This is just roughly picked and um, chugged in a bag kind of style. So yeah it is it is not uh, visually pleasing but on the other hand because it is just so roughly picked and nothing has been done with it to look nice, look great uh, it puts the price down, obviously, because there's not much fluffing about going on with these leaves. They just picked it, chugged it in a bag by the look of it. Um, however, it looks a little bit more natural in a way, because because pretty much it's just picked. Yeah, it gives you that kind of natural feeling that you it has been just picked. But on the other hand, it doesn't give you that niche product um, feeling either. However, if my memory serves me well, this wasn't a bad white tea at all. So, the smell out of the bag, it's a little bit better. I think the pouch uh, has a certain smell as well. Yeah, but the leaves are just, uh, there's nothing to it really, to the smell. They are just um, green. There's a slight little um, warming notes to it, but I can't really grasp what would it be. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's quite fragrant and peppery, but not as much as coriander. And, um, you know, when you chop up coriander, uh, the leaves then you have that extremely fragrant um, and greeny notes. Um, it's not as harsh as that, and it doesn't remind me of coriander, it's just the uh, intensity, but it's not as, as harsh, and it has that um, extra, like, a warmth to it. It's, uh, when you go into a, a room where you have old furniture on a summer afternoon, and you have that kind of dusty, warm, lingering something, and that's that's what's um, what's there as well, along with the greeny fragrance. Right, so um, let's warm these up. Now that is warm, I just pull it away. Give it to these guys as well. And because I haven't done this for a long time, I thought, you know what, I just make a little bit of a fuss and um, take the tray out, take the take everything out. And let's put these leaves into the I'm using the Amazon pot. Well what I like to call it Amazon pot, because I got it from Amazon and it was cheap and cheerful. So um, there's nothing to it. I um 
use this pretty much now for oolong smoked tea and um, white tea really um, because obviously I have um, the niche in pot which could be okay with this white tea but I mainly use it for black tea and I don't want the taste to be affected that way um, and obviously the zirni that's poor and the uh, other one forgot its name yeah, I'm so terrible uh, so that that is for green tea so um and I'm not going to buy a pot for just for white tea I don't drink that much of a white tea okay this this um this turns into something nice actually because of the pot is warm and you put the leaves in lots of sweetness just came up but it goes away very quickly <coughs> I would say a bit of honey maybe vanilla but it's it's quite surprising with all those greenery um, notes that I mentioned earlier, it's quite surprising. Wasn't expecting that at all. Um, especially because it was just sitting in my cupboard for two years for no reason. Uh, right, let's do a quick rinse. And see what happens. Okay, this pot is big, right, um, let's see, greeny notes come uh, through a little bit from the lid, just like um, the leaves of a uh, grape, um, I don't know if you have ever been in a vineyard before, but when you go into a vineyard, um, and the leaves of the grape, it just has certain smell to it. Have a sniff, it, it's the same really. Yeah, it's it's the same. That greeny grape leaf note. Plus. That kind of sweetness that I mentioned earlier, but it's, I guess, because of the water, I don't know. It's just um, dialed down quite a lot. And this um, green leaf note is, is much more prominent. But as it cools down, the sweetness goes uh, uh, higher up and the uh, green dials down, so they start to balance each other. So I'm guessing uh, with the heat you will um, get more of the green notes out of this tea. But we shall see, and I can already see that uh, also it was a, uh, although it was a quick rinse, um, it is it's already having some sort of yellowish um, color to it. Let's give this to the tea pets. Right. Can't smell anything there. Okay, what does it say about brewing time? It says 25 seconds first infusion. Right. Let's see. So if I put it down to let's say, oh, messed it up. So I guess I have another 15 minutes, 15 seconds, maybe, I don't know, 10, maybe, yeah, put it 11, let's see, so I have another 7, 6, 5, I guess 4, 3, 2, and it's buzzing in a minute, there you have it, time is up, um, so I guess it is 25 seconds roughly, let's see. Okay. 
I might, might try to put a little bit of uh, less water into this pot because this pot is it's clearly quite big and uh, I don't think I have put enough leaves in the pot. Although they look uh, massive in the whatever it's called now. Yeah, but because obviously they are just roughly pegged, they um, take a lot of volume up. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't know where do, where do you want to be put. Uh, let's put you there. Put you there. There. Right. So I don't know. Let's zoom in and let's have a look at this color. This is the first infusion, though. Okay. So that's how it looks like. It's um. Yeah, I would say goldeny, yellowish. But it's not dark. Oh, it has quite a lot of blue hues in it as well, if you know what I mean. So it's not that kind of really on the yellow side. It's a little bit of a mixture, and it doesn't have that everything else is reflecting uh, to it. And I have the light there, so that might change the color. Yeah, I would say like goldeny, but very light yellow color. I can get some sort of sweetness. Pretty much I get what I could um, grasp on the smell. I can get that on the taste. Mm. But it's ever so... Um, it's not it's not fake uh, at all, but it it has a um, little bit of a oily effect. Not much, but there is some. It's very nice. So yeah, there's a little bit of lingering sweetness, tiny little bit of cream, and um, that's it so far but as you know i use quite a lot of water um and then um, this is the first infusion the first infusion is not really it's okay normally it's the second and the third infusion when it's really coming out what it's like but this is a this is a white tea anyway it's not meant to be full of caffeine or great punch in the face or whatever it's just a nice and delicate tea so yeah i would say the texture is maybe not even medium or maybe in the low medium area it's hard to define how thick is a tea because it's it's liquid and it's it's just not it's never going to be as thick as 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 oil or treacle, so it's never going to be that thick. So it is. Um, you have quite a, a small range of of uh, maximum thickness of a tea, of of the the, the thickest tea ever, and uh, and the water because even the thickest tea ever is not going to be as thick as oil. So it is a little bit hard to assess exactly where you would want to put the tea and it also depends on how much water you are going to use. But with the taste, yeah, it's not much to it. Right, I have a couple of infusions and I will be back um, and see how or what else I can grasp in this tea, right? Right, so I had um, my third brew as well, and I used less uh, water. It's much more thicker that way, and it's a it's much more tastier, obviously. So, um, but I used the same water, so I didn't heat it up again and again and again, just to see how 
we added the fact that he and then um, yeah it was it was a little bit more sweet than if you use like really hot water I guess this is why it says on the guidance 95 degrees water instead of 99 or whatever because obviously if, if you use quite a quite cold water then you won't get that much of a taste out of it I guess but I noticed that as the water cooled um, quite significantly because it was just sitting here it was much more sweeter than the first or even the second brew um, right I don't know how long this has been let's just stir it about a little bit I don't know. Let's pull it out. So as you can see, it's um, not half amount of water that I'm using here. It's just a um, little bit less because the first brew was right up here, all the way up here. Um, what my aim was really just to cover the leaves. And um, the smell turns a little bit harsher, greenish smell. Let me just take them about a bit. Much more greener the smell than at the beginning. But there is this um, this this warmth to it, as I mentioned, when you go into that room with the old furniture, um, etc., etc. So it is there, but the green notes on the smell is much more um, on the front, at the front than than that kind of warmness, sweetness. I don't know if you can see. Let's zoom in again. But the color is a little bit darker than the first brew. Not much darker, but a little bit darker. A little bit thicker, obviously, because of the less amount of water I used. When I shake it about, it settles quite quickly. So that's one of the ways how I try to assess the thickness. If it's because obviously if you just use um, pure water it, it will wobble ever so slightly a little bit more and it has a different I don't know it's just a little bit different that's how I try to assess as well how wobbly it is using my eye and then um, using my other senses as well so the fourth brew. It's um as I said it's it's a bit thicker. I would say it's definitely medium now that I use less water. So um Probably just um, don't be afraid using um, a lot of leaves when you put it into this little thing because, of, as I said, the way it was picked, probably the way it looks, it just takes up quite a lot of volume. So put a lot of leaves in because um, once they get wet, they just shrink. And um, yeah, with the taste, there is a um, little bit of sweetness to it. Um, I wouldn't say much, well I can't pick up much, but there is that, that kind of sweetness, it's a little bit like, uh, it's a little bit like um, one of these uh, green ball rolled oolongs, so you have that creamy note there, but that's not in your face either. And you also have a little bit of um, sweetness there, and that's that's about it. I 
can't pick up what kind of sweetness it is. Is it more honey, vanilla? But it's definitely um, not like um, putting sugar in it. It's definitely not that kind of sweetness. It's definitely not sweetener sweetness. Um, it's um, it's 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 more that kind of um, how to describe it. It's quite strange because one of my colleagues um, he came back from Brazil and he got some um, sweets, Brazilian ones, uh, one made out of bananas, and it's black. It's absolutely black, and you first think, oh, okay, so. You start to eat it, and there is nothing, nothing to it really. But if you just let it sit there in your mouth and roll it around, then the, the banana sweetness and the flavor of the banana uh, starts to come out properly. And it's that kind of feelings. So it's it's more like, hang on, could it be? No, it's not banana, it's not banana sweetness, but it's that kind of ripened fruit sweetness. But it's not banana and it's, I can't, I can't um, compare it to anything really, but it's that kind of ripe-ish, ripe fruit sweetness there. So it's not like sugar, it's not like sweetener, it's not like honey, it's, it's, it's a little bit more like that, that fruity ripe sweetness something that you have to have to leave in your mouth to develop a little bit because it won't be so strong because when you just get a spoonful of sugar or honey you can taste it immediately it's sweet with this one you have to let it rest a bit And as you swallow it, that's when that um, maybe because of the thickness as well, that medium, little bit syrupy thickness, it helps um, tricking you. Maybe I'm not really sure because obviously I don't know the chemistry in this tea. But as I said, it's that kind of sweetness. It's it's not really in your face. It's just there with the creamy notes all together combined and um, that's all I can say about this tea really I'm quite surprised because it's just it was just sitting there in the cupboard for two years um, never opened it because I had other reviews to do I had life going on and um, and actually it turns out quite okay I mean yeah, the pouch was, was sealed completely, it was airtight, um, but still, I'm, I'm surprised, um, because what I noticed with green teas, um, that with green teas you, you tend to consume it quite quickly, because if you leave it for over a year, then, then they start to oxidize and they will lose their taste. Um, but this one, this one seems alright after two years. Um, maybe this is why people age white teas in cakes and they don't age green teas. I don't know, but that's it for now. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for uh, watching this tea review. And um, yeah, see you next time.